What did we learn about this show last time? Something about like different dangerous level threats based on like the cards, right? There's like a jack level difficulty, king, queen stuff. There's some royal palace girls. Basically, we threw, we didn't throw, but you know, we hit that jack guy threat, the <coughs> skeleton knight. Sword went into her place and she's not really mad. She seems to actually want to find us. And we know that the white haired elf, Shini, uh, she is around. We saw her. Even the ending last episode was entirely Shini, which just basically shows this girl that's been looking for her master throughout the last 500 years, which is really fucked if you think about it. So I guess Shini has just gone off on a journey trying to find her master, but the master is back, right? So maybe we're going to get some kind of like wholesome reunion one of these days. But hey, let's begin today's episode. Right, we have like a fox spirit lolly thing soon, right? But like if you do this and say you beat them all, won't the deal be even more special? Uh, sussy? We're gonna contract with the lolly? We're gonna, we're gonna tame a lolly? Cool, cool, cool. Oh, so cute. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Contract time. So you like... Forehead to forehead, and you have to say this line. Some mark shows up, like an eagle, some kind of bird, and now we have a contract. What? Cool. Yuzuha. And Tira sent the messages to Shni, right? Yeah. Also say sorry, you've been gone for like 500 years. She's probably been so depressed. There was also the spear using girl. <laughs> and they both happen to work part-time at the tavern too. Both? Are they competing over him? Yeah, they are. They are competing over shit. That look is a little scary. Okay. We killed the shit little skull knights. What? Skill successor. Orphanage next to the church in the West Ward, which is the orphanage probably that the spear user guy uses, right? The guy, the fucking slut, showing so much fucking skin, bro. Showing the entire fucking abdominal area. Wilhelm. She has some kind of foresight. I'm just gonna assume the church is usually evil, but maybe not this show. Oh, okay, sister, I see you. She's trying to protect Miri, or what is it? Her look is a little sus. We saved the fox girl, Miri. Okay, I'm just being, you know, just cautious for no reason. The church people seem kind of nice, at least she does so far. I just, you know, church is usually bad. That's why I just automatically assume, but... これは真。冒険者をしています。鳥。したことをミリーに確認しても。え?なあ、ミリー。ありがとう。どういたしまして。ゆずはも。くう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。あり
She has some kind of divine foresight, but we also just fed her food, so she probably thinks we're a good person. Okay. Paddles have different skills. Passes. The visions come from the title. Divine foresight. Sounds OP. We should kidnap Midi. Take her to the moon sanctum. No. Uh, Wilhelm. Like a bodyguard? Does it scare people off? More sisters! Oh. Let's see these other sisters. <laughs> very cute. Okay, very cute. Because <laughs> Yuzuha gets more attention than you? Lose? Popularity? <laughs> Not hide lose? Very cute. Very cute. Oh, that was a part of the plan. Skill issue. Is he that scary? What the fuck? This shit doesn't look scary at all. Wilhelm looks way more scarier. Are you gonna scare you scared of this guy? Who's this girl though? One of the older girls. Would purify? I don't know. Yeah. Who is they? Who's getting rid of the orphanage? No priest. We need a priest to take over. Purify, and that's where that comes in. The granddaughter is supposed to inherit it. Got it. Yo, this priest is a fucking asshole. It's gonna be that kind of competition. Some shitty guy versus the granddaughter. Just fucking hates kids, I guess. <laughs> Who is he? He hates children, huh? <laughs> Which shops have good deals and where the snacks are hidden? Now she's just abusing this oracle power. But... <laughs> Damn, already he won them over. They were so scared of him before. Granddaughter. Granddaughter? Granddaughter? Okay, she's like the nervous type. She's just kind of helping. Oh, sh oh no. Did she bite her fucking tongue there actually? A little clumsy. A little clumsy. Granddaughter to be the next priest here. Ghost Plains. New area unlocked. Oh, hello! That is actually crazy, bro. What are you wearing? Not, you can't show this in front of the kids. That's right. If Midi says so, everything's gonna be fine. So Lisa the Creep. Midi is just a fucking hack. I wonder who's stronger between these two. I think Shin is. Shin has to be. Because everyone else around here is just like a static NPC character that doesn't even have like skills. Shin is just like a new game plus right now, so I think that he would win against anybody. Then again, we don't really have a clear idea of the power scaling just yet, right? I think Vil is a good guy that people might be scared of just because of how he looks. Doesn't help that he talks like that, too. He has a very raspy voice that kind of scares people. You want this clumsy girl to farm 200 on death? <laughs> Over 150? Okay, we gotta like power farm her. Somehow we need to like, she needs to like lead over Shin. Shin's probably gonna clear the 200 and we're gonna get the same kind of, you know, fucking uh, prerequisites done. <laughs>
Can you do this? Okay, so if you get the final blow, so we're gonna get the monsters down to like one HP, then she's gonna hit it, then it's gonna be good. Power level them. Fucking has everything, bro. Yep, new game plus. <laughs> focus, focus. It would have been just funnier if we were like, all right, Lashia, fucking get out there by yourself and farm 200 of these level 150 undeads. Like, this clumsy ass girl would be fucking hilarious. And she just dies. Hi. Sorry, kids, the orphan is just gone. Not dangerous, but mysterious, so we want to know more. Very suspicious when stuff like that isn't explained yet. What does Will think that he is? Wait. So he seems to have some kind of understanding, huh? He's like, hmm, there must be some different thing about him. Maybe it's going to be some kind of funny shit instead. Will, oh. Yeah, what are we going to do? Cross swords? Oh, that's lewd. What? Are you the chosen one? There's some kind of like prophecy in this game? A chosen one. Meaning not the chosen one, but a chosen one. As an easy to make character, yes, but there's these things called a chosen ones in this game, this world, I guess. No. What is that? They're born with skills and titles and knowledge that they shouldn't have. Now, I, I don't know if this is a misunderstanding of the NPCs in this world becoming sentient and realizing that there's these new game plus players that have these skills and stuff that they shouldn't have. But Shin is the only person, right? He's the only person that remained in the game, I think. Are there more people? Because it sounded like there could be potentially other people that didn't log off or <laughs> reincarnation into the game. That could be a good, a cool idea, right? Like, the other people that were summoned or reincarnated into this game. Who fucking knows? I don't know, but there's people that already have skills, titles, and knowledge that they shouldn't have, which sounds like they've already played the game. Born with it. They're just born with it. Hmm. So if it's not the past life, then they're not like Shin. There's other people that just are born with that shit. Knowledge of items... Games, monsters, why? The fuck is a reincarnation system? That's the first time I'm hearing it. Oh, okay, so there's a system called reincarnation in this game. Oh, sorry. The reincarnation system that he's talking about right now is how he beat the final thing. But everyone got logged off, then he kind of just like fell asleep. Kind of disappeared for like 500 years, right? That's what he's talking about. But that's like continuation of his character. The actual reincarnation system implies that they were reborn as an infant with the knowledge. Not about their past life, but about everything game related. Okay. <laughs> They've never heard of them. Then that implies that Wilhelm has met a, uh, what's it called, a chosen one before that? Yeah, kill that pig, bro. So soon today, he's like, fuck these kids, but the, they're crying so much and it's annoying, so I'm gonna... Take care of that fucking pig. It's not like I care about the kids or anything. So Wilhelm is super, super sin today. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's a super nice guy. Shni or Tiede? What kind of work is Shni doing? What did you do to her? We just, we abandoned her for 500 years. That's what we did. What is this letter? Yeah, we're the CEO of the Moon Sanctum. Confirmed, they're the real deal. That's how they do it, right? You recognize each other by touching. It's kind of gay, I guess. Just, just two dudes just touching. You know, they're just crossing sword. Just, yeah, yeah, okay. Wilhelm is also recognized individual if he has that letter. Okay, time to farm one, two hundred of these undeads. <laughs> she, she keeps biting her tongue. Oh, shake.
It's like, all right, Lacha, get the fuck in there. <laughs> she was what she got. Lacha's like, I can't fucking fight these things. Is she good? Single attribution. The fuck? Right. It's like the same thing like Maple Story. One of the craziest shit in Maple Story is, is like, if you take up the cleric priest bishop path line, the undead monsters, when you heal yourself, AOE heal around them, they will get injured too, because they're, you know, undead. <laughs> Wilhelm, let's see it. Okay, Wilhelm, pretty strong, right? Woo! PowerPoint presentation fight, let's go! Not that the fight really matters. A seal made by the guild. The Moon Sentinel thing? Was that the Moon Sentinel card that unlocked it? That's going to take a long time. Oh, it's like pumpkins, jack o' lanterns. The soundtrack is actually very fun. Wait, is she about to come out of this power level as fuck and she's going to be some giga cracked character compared to everyone else around her? Actually censored. That's the princess. Oh, 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 oh. You, you can you can see a little bit of the you know what she's wearing. Anyways, and that's the princess that was. Uh, we interrupted her room with the sword, right? And she's trying to find this. So hmm, when are we gonna meet her, man? Dude, her sword is huge. Look at the size of that sword compared to everyone else in her. Okay, so she's in the ghost planes too. Okay, so it is the same sword. It's the same sword that landed in her room. So honestly, this is a fucking gift. She shouldn't even be upset that we did this, right? This is a gift to her, right? It's like a marriage proposal. Behind, look! No, 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 Ashni! That's the same maid outfit. That's the long white hair and that's the elf ear. So Shni is with... This princess or queen? What the fuck? Princess or queen? And yeah, she does actually look like Nephi. Like a part of me was like, yo, Nephi? Nah, wrong anime. She has the exact same, you know, Nephi design, right? Well, in terms of like the maid outfit. Shin. Wilhelm. Somebody. Ashni. Ashni. Oh, new soundtrack just for Shni, man. Oh my god, that look, bro. Look at that look, bro! This girl is so hyped up. And that's the episode. Shni is hyped up, man. Like, this most majority of this episode was a little bit of a snooze fest, but I guess it's kind of important to establish what's going on with the plot. So what is going on, right? We have Ku. Ku, Ku, Yuzuha. A uh, uh, contract formed, and basically we're at this orphanage, church, and the orphanage's gonna go away because there's this greedy pig that wants to get rid of the orphanage, but where there's one way to, you know, kind of prevent that, and it's to make this girl who bites her tongue becomes the next priest. How do you become a priest? Well, they need to learn purify. How do you learn purify? You gotta fucking farm 200 level 150 plus undead. How they while holding an holding an orb for some reason, and basically Shin is power leveling them. And Wilhelm seems like a really nice guy. Sundere, right? Very Sundere. It's like it's not like I want to save the kids or anything. It's just that them crying is annoying, so I'm just shutting them up. Very cute, very cute. He seems to be pretty strong. I don't really know the exact power scaling because Shin just seems to be like on a totally different level, but relative to everyone else that we've seen, Wilhelm definitely does seem like one of the stronger people. It's gonna be pretty fun to see how strong that this priest will become because she were power leveling her. So maybe there's gonna be some fun moments in the future where she just like power gaps everyone around her and she doesn't even know, but she's still so clumsy. So there's like the comedy aspect of that. On this side though, I didn't know that Shni was with the royal forces. I think they are the royal forces. This sword that we you know that kind of interrupted her room and now she's just using it. So maybe uh, she just sees this as like a gift and you know, it's like a maybe some kind of marriage proposal. I don't really know, but everyone is just kind of hyped up and expecting Shini. She's so fast. She's so hot. She's so strong. And apparently there's a lot of questions, you know, built up over 500 years that we have to answer to, you know, uh, Shin. So uh, I we're very, oh, we're almost there. We're very close. They're both in the dead plane. So maybe ghost plane. So maybe next episode, we're going to finally get the reunion. But that's it from me. If you're still here. 
If you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.